So we're starting a new project. Uh, it's the it's a shelter for the sawmill. Uh, you're probably wondering why not working on the house. Uh, totally could be working on the house. I do have some trim to do uh, that I need to work on, but we actually have a hard, having a hard time getting siding. Uh, we they have some COVID restrictions at the plant, so you have these pickup windows, and the freight company missed the window. So our next uh, possible delivery is February 2nd. So that's kind of on hold, uh, but the sawmill is on the back porch of the house. It'll be good to get that off of the porch uh, so I don't have to clean up all the time and get it into its, its more proper home. And the other thing you might have heard me mention in some of the other videos, this, the saw head is oriented wrong. Uh, and so it'd be great to get that turned around and get it right. Uh, so we're gonna work on the, uh, an area. We cleared an area for the, for the sawmill shelter. It's going to be 39 feet by uh, about 18 feet uh, in between the posts. And then I have about two foot overhangs on the two ends. So uh, it's gonna go in the area right behind me. We'll take a look at the, uh, the pad that we kind of prepped and I'll talk through a little bit of what, what the plan is for that. Uh, so, and what we're working on today, if you're wondering why the, why the hat on backwards, uh, we're welding today. So uh, I'm gonna weld up clips onto those joists. You'll see that here in a minute because uh, that's what we're working on. And we're gonna weld up clips. It's basically the same system that the house has. Uh, it's a series of just a uh, square plate sitting on the joists uh, and then you weld it and then we'll end up screwing to those, screwing our um, joists and then we'll put purlins on top of those. So it's kind of gonna make a big grid system if you will. And that'll get our panels oriented correctly so that it's uh, the front of the, the whole front of the mill will be the kind of the gable end and then it'll all slope, single slope back and dump the water off into the woods. So let's take a look at the pad uh, real quick and then we'll get to some welding. So what we did for the pad, I kind of roughed out an area for it and I brought up some clay. We have a, basically where we've been digging the pond the pond actually has clay down in the bottom of it. So I've been bringing some clay, hauling some clay with the dump trailer, been digging it with the excavator, loading it with the bobcat, and then hauling it and dumping it. And then I spread it with the tractor. Uh, I actually found that I have a rake for the tractor and it actually works great for this uh, because the clay otherwise is pretty hard. The teeth of the rake kind of break it up and drag it. We put a swale on the back side. That's where the water is going to dump. So I put a swale back here so that the water doesn't have a tendency to come back into the mill. We laid the clay up and the next thing I'll do is bring in some crushed aggregate. It's basically crushed rock and uh, and actually countertops and tile and all kind of stuff. It comes from a recycle yard here uh, at a dump and then after that I'll put a paver base over top of that and pack that with the plate compactor and it should be it should just about be a slab so that's where we're at right now. Let's get to welding some clips. I would never profess to being a professional welder. I'm actually a pretty terrible welder. 
but I think this will get the job done. Uh, pushing basically the bar the bar joists on the bottom are thicker, a little bit thicker steel than the plates are, than the clips are. So I just push the bar joist steel up onto the plate, and as long as they're pretty well melted together, uh, they should hold. So I tack the insides on the one side of the plate, and then the outsides on the other side of the plate. If I can see that, if it's not in the shade, too bad. Sorry, it's still connected to the tripod. Uh, but then just weld the back sides of the plate and they hold pretty good. So by way of work lamps, we got everything painted. So we got home, unloaded the telephone poles, and since I already had the roller and everything, I started this earlier with the kids and uh, ran out of the red primer paint. So went and picked up some primer while I was getting the telephone poles. And uh, so since I got home, roller was already wet, wet pan was already wet with paint so I just rolled these real quick so tomorrow we'll paint them black hopefully have the kids help me with that and uh, we'll be ready to set some bar joists so that's it for today